Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to Zanisha Classic. Hope you have all been keeping well, inshallah. I am well too, alhamdulillah. Thank you for joining us today. In this video, I will be exploring the fourth part of Royal Botanical Gardens Kew. This is another glass house at Kew Gardens. It is Princess of Wales Conservatory. For those who have watched my previous video will be aware the other video is part one and I had explored a lot of what is at the beginning of this house, at the front of the house, which is a lot of cacti and a lot of succulent plants. If you haven't watched my previous video in this section, then please do remind yourselves to catch up on that so you are aware of what plants were in this house right at the beginning as soon as you enter. So we'll just quickly get on to the second part and we'll show you what is in this section here. This section of Ami Dehaimo Kita Ase Kun types of plants Ase. First section of the Zara Dehso in my previous video, after Zanta Farba that he other video Maze, I covered a lot of cacti and some succulent plants as well in all different shapes and sizes. All I could hear was the sound of water trickling down and I was overwhelmed by what I had come to discover at this section. It was just wow. It blew me away because I was not expecting to see this. I thought I had already seen the lily pads in the other lily house. So when I came across this, I was so, so delighted, extremely happy and delighted to see this wonderful sight in front of us. Isn't it just marvelous? Beautiful lotus and lily flowers huge tropical rainforest leaves and plants and foliage touching the sky the roof of this house sun beaming down it was just quite a scene the time i mean saito i see i mean butchina that i was coming to this section i mean busta mo farsi na khali fani da just little drops for her fani but I'm a boost of farce now that funny couldn't place that you are and I'm is it I'm there see a amazing sight I'm at some name I'm at Ottoman Kushi we say I don't I mean think or slum that a lily pads to me lily house of the kitchy and you know to own those other types of plants that but I'm is it I'm there see lily pads I'm a sham name are really mon was so so happy and it's a lily pad but it's turned upside down i just thought i'll quickly capture that and then to make it even more special there were fish in the pond and they were really really huge fish carp and we thought at one point there were sharks but there wasn't it was really big fish in there but i couldn't capture it because the water was actually really dark and it's quite deep i think it's quite deep and i could see some little tiny tiny fish there it, you can't see it in the camera because the water's dark and the fish were dark too, the little baby fish. Although there were lily pads here, lotus flowers, lily flowers in the pond, the flowers and the pods, lily pads seemed a little smaller than the ones that were inside of the lily house but they were still ever so beautiful and glorious to look at it was just it just really really blew me away how beautiful nature is and how beautiful this house was this was definitely my favorite house 
out of the three houses that I had been to and visited and captured all the magnificent flowers and many, many thousands of species of plants that were thriving in all these houses. I don't know if anyone can see, but you can see little waterfall there, little drops of water. Just look really beautiful and the sound was amazing. So much to see, yeah. Surrounded by tropical plants and flowers and greenery from all around the world. Makes you kind of feel special that you can view all this. You can be a, a spectator. Now that in front of me is the world's smallest lily next to one of the largest. I like the contrast there. The water beneath was divided into two sections and there's like a footbridge above and that will lead you to the next level in this house. The more I was walking, the more I discovered and it just didn't end and it was getting better and better as I was walking and finding more things to see. I didn't know which way to point the camera. It was just amazing to look at. We're not all nature lovers, but you don't have to be. If you come here, you will fall in love. You will fall in love with all things that make you happy. You will fall in love with this place. I have always loved nature, but this is another level. When I come here, I am surrounded by all the things that I enjoy, all the things that makes me happy and smile. And I come to appreciate all the wonderful things in life are so simple, simple to look at. But we know there's a lot of hard work that goes into maintaining Kew Gardens and well done to the team here, doing a fantastic job. I can't get enough of this time I visit, I see something new. I, it never fails to impress me how wonderful Kew Gardens is. This is the view from the top and as you can see all the lily pads are there and we could see lots of big fish but we couldn't capture them because they were really dark fish and the water was dark too so the view from above made it all come together i got a better picture and a better understanding and it all looks so stunning just want to stay here, not go anywhere. I want to live here. It's such an amazing place. Look at all the greenery around us, surrounded us by beautiful nature. All the trees and plants. Looks like a jungle. Like an extra jungle or maze. I'm sure Basi, sure Badi, sure Zabai, Zedi, Kedi, Kembra Hali, Gas Gasali, Shundu Full, sure the natural. Mon happy tare, happy like a dirty, shundled like a dirty.
thank you everyone for watching this video I do hope you have enjoyed it in my next video I will be uploading the next section of this I mean there's so much to see I need to make so many parts to this and it will be from the view that uh, is on the level up so it will be from the next level and there's so much to see there too it's never ending anyway everyone take care of yourselves stay well Allah Hafiz Assalamualaikum Bye-bye.